Tonight, an arrest in the fatal hit and run of an Ashland County mom walking her dog with her daughter Tuesday night. Our Monica Robbins is live from Ashland tonight with more on the 27 year old man now caught. And we've learned he's no stranger to the law. Township Road 1031 is a pretty quiet country road. Just after 9 o'clock on Tuesday, 40-year-old Jennifer Lynn Borman was walking her dog with her 10-year-old daughter and her child's friend when all of a sudden a truck hit them. The memorial has already started. The girls ran to a neighbor's house for help where Amanda Baker called 911. Two little girls just ran, ran up to our house hysterical and said that their mom got hit by a car and a dog too, and their mom might be dead. The truck left behind a broken headlight that Ohio State Highway Patrol showed to the public and asked for help in finding the person who fled the scene. It didn't take long. 24 hours later, a tip call led them to the Ashland residence of 27-year-old Christopher McAndrew, who was arrested without incident and charged with leaving the scene of a crash, hit skip, and aggravated vehicular homicide. OSP shared a picture of McAndrew's silver 2003 Chevy Silverado with the broken headlight. Troopers acknowledge without the public's help, it may have taken much longer to get the suspect into custody. We knew that getting the information out in this community was going to be vital to us getting it solved. McAndrew is no stranger to the law. His record goes back to 2012 and includes several underage drinking charges as well as two OVIs. He was also just released from prison in December after serving three years for unlawful sexual conduct with a minor in 2015 and domestic violence in 2017. McAndrew is currently being held in the Ashland County Jail awaiting a court appearance to be scheduled. And police tell me the two girls, both of whom were taken to the hospital, one with uh, minor injuries, they're both going to be okay physically, but you can imagine everything they've gone through in that night on Tuesday is going to take a long time to get over. A GoFundMe page was also set up for, uh, for Borman, and they've already collected more than $8,000. They were only asking for 1000 to help with funeral expenses, but that money will go take care of the two girls little ones that Borman left behind. In Ashland, Monica Robbins, 3 News. Uh, thinking of those two little girls tonight, Monica, thank you so much.